Hello everybody and welcome down to Formby Ladies Golf Club. I'm Matt Fryer and today we're going to find out is it worth taking the risk or playing safe which one pays off. So we're on the 14th hole, it's 301 yards, it's downwind. So if I get a nice drive away here, I should just be near the front edge of this green. But it's fraught with danger. If I just leak it off there, there's some heather up round there, there's a lot of bunkers up round near the green. I could actually hit something like five iron wedge to this hole. Um, there is a bunker at about, what did I zap in? It was 210, so I can't hit my five iron. In fact, yeah, downwind, no, I can't. I could hit a six iron and still only have 90 yards left in pretty much to this hole. So let's find out. We're going to play a little sort of vloggy match here against myself. Two balls, two decisions, which one works out best. Okay, so we're going to go driver first. Now, like I said, there's some trouble up there, but I should be able to navigate it. Should be able to get round it. So my line as we go through, a little bit down the left hand side, I'm going to tee up closer to this right hand side of the tee box because this tree off the uh, tee here is a little bit in the way. So I'm going to get up there tight. Just going to hit my normal pretty, pretty little fade. And let's see whether going for it pays off or playing the smart way pays off. So, first ball, I've got to commit. If you, got, if you are going to go for it as well, always commit to the shot. Little fade up the left side. Okay, it's leaking a little, it's leaking a little. I think that's actually on the next tee. So, could be okay, we'll find out when we get up there. My next club, six iron. So if I can hit this to round about 200 yards, it's only gonna give me 90 yards pretty much left into the hole, 100 yards and I can hit a decent wedge, I should be okay with that. There's a bunker down the, uh, the right hand side that I'm going to try and avoid. So I'm just going to go up that left and just put it back a little bit as normal. Play to your strengths, play to a shot that you're comfortable with. And we'll see what happens. Well, I couldn't hit that any better. Um, just a quick caveat to this video, I was aiming at the wrong flag then, I actually saw the one straight down off the tee, forgot it was a slight dog leg, so the uh, going for it one, it's going to be interesting, back to the action. Okay, so found myself on the fairway with my second ball, six iron off the tee's left me 80 yards in, it was quite a bit downwind and I did flush it, so very safe pin there, very much at the middle, I'm going to just take my 52, a little half chip swing, and I should be in pretty close. Nice and smooth, half one of these. Struck it nicely. Just pulled it a fraction, but I've got best part of probably 20 feet that is all to go okay so second ball found it it came bouncing over the tee and has ended up just here i'm going over all this grass here and out towards that flag i'm just going to leave the camera here because i can't get into all the heather that is there but as you can see already become quite a difficult operation this one i've got to play over all this stuff and then over onto a tight pin so already the no stress six iron is becoming the shot of choice here so i've got a lob wedge out here i'm gonna have to give it a good swing because i'm deep in this bun here i've got to get it up high 
got to get it over this slope. It's, there's a world of trouble here. And I'm not really that far off. Yes, I've hit it 300 yards. And I'm only sort of 10 yards out of position. And I'm in a world of trouble. So let's see if we can make anything of it. That was just, it was just too difficult to get out of, it's so thick. So already I know, and my wedge shot wasn't 20 feet away from earlier. It was only, it's about 10 feet away and it felt like a less stressful option. So just go to this one now that I've just hit into the uh, bottom here. So just being slightly offline. All right, I've hit it a great distance, but a slight bit offline has come, caused some serious issues now. I'm now again faced with a very tricky shot. I'm out of this deep, claggy rough. I'm gonna land it on, let it trickle over the top. It's, it's hard, it is very, very hard. Sit. So just run off the edge of the green. I've had three shots and I'm still not on there. Yes, I've hit it 300 yards, but the six iron and the wedge seems like a good play at the minute. Okay, so we've got ball number two, ball number one. Ball number two pitched in, I've got 12 feet away. So here now, I've got to hold this for par. It's been very, very stressful playing this hole like that. Well, I th <laughs> think that is a serious, serious get out of jail card right there. I'll hold it for four, but it has taken some real hard work and it was a serious get out of jail card. Let's now see if we can hold this one. Okay, so kind of takes the steam out of the, uh, the experiment a little bit, that one holding a mega putt. Not many times I'd think I would hold a putt like that. Very fortunate to knock it in. As where well. now, even so with this one, I'm feeling less stressed. I've got a pretty straightforward putt and it's not been to a point where I was scrambling or really working for that par, you know, there. Holding that 40 footer up, at, well, 30 footer up over the slope was something that's made it seem okay but it could have gone a lot worse than that oh, oh, I so wanted that to go in I so wanted it to go in oh. okay so two of the same score now I would say the one where I hit the six iron the simple wedge, an easy putt and tapped it in, was a lot more enjoyable, less stressful for me. Finding that ball firstly was just, you know, just a challenge in itself. Managed to just find it. It was in a horrible lie, hacked it, then hacked it again, then held a wonder putt just to escape with a par. Now, the chances of that happening every time are very, very slim. So when going for it, guys, decide, you know, could you make, if it's a birdie or a par, could you make it the same way? but a lot, less, a lot less stressful because I definitely enjoyed hitting that six iron and that wedge to there and having a go at that putt as opposed to hacking those two wedges in the rough and even the stress of searching for the ball. So, bit of an inconclusive test there, but an interesting one. Up to you, you know, is the reward worth the risk, I think is the question. And if you can do it just as easily with, you know, a driver and a wedge instead of, an iron and a wedge instead of smashing a driver onto it sometimes it might be eagle sometimes it might be triple bogey so take what you will from that ask the question is the risk worth the reward guys thanks for watching a big thank you to formby ladies for letting me come down and film here today it's absolutely gorgeous here if you've never played come down and play it's a seriously great golf course. I love filming here. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy the video, hit the like button and drop me down a comment below if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more stuff like this in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.